Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to continue talking about thermal physics. Okay. Here in this uh, worksheet, we are going to talk about uh, thermal uh, in transferring heat and about uh, how we can uh, answer questions with relationship with transferring heat. Okay. So there are several ways to transfer heat, okay, between uh, conductors or between objects. Okay. So there is something called conduction something called convection and something called what radiation. This is all the main three process to transfer heat, conduction, convection, and transfer and radiation, sorry. Sometimes we can use evaporation for liquid of surface as what well, transfer of heat, okay? So now if we have a heating source, as you can see here, a fire, okay? Now you can see that there are several ways to transfer heat. It, the air that come out from the fire going up it's convection. If we put a, a, a metal rod on one side and hold, hold it like this, the heat transferred through the metal by conduction, you can feel that the heat come as radiation to your hands sideways by some types of infrared radiation or heat radiation, okay? So the main three ways to transfer heat is conduction, convection, and what radiation. Now, I will start small introduction about each one of these, okay, to compare between three of them. So if we talk about conduction, usually it happens between conductors or solid object when there is direct contact. So between, oh, through, sorry, through direct contact, through direct contact, through direct contact. Convection happens usually through what? Fluids. By something called what? Uh, convectional currents. By called convectional currents. Convectional currents. Convectional current. So when I say this uh, fluid here, I mean what? I mean solids, uh, sorry, liquids and gases. Here we are talking about only what solids, okay? Here we are talking about only what solid objects, okay? Here we are talking about liquid and gases. Finally, radiation happens between all surfaces, between what? Surfaces, all surfaces by what? Between surfaces by something called infrared IR, infrared what? Radiation. Okay, infrared what? Radiation. So we need to compare between conduction, convection, radiation. Let's talk about Conduction. Now, when we talk about conduction, we, we talk about solids, we have two types of what materials. Some materials they're called conductor. Other materials they are called what insulator. What the difference between conductor and insulator? Who can tell me what's the conductor and what's the insulator? Yes, you can give me examples for conductors uh, in the chat. Send me any example for any material that's a good conductor for heat. Yes, you can send me some answers. Thank you, uh, iron, yes. Thank you, also steel, bravo. Gold, exactly. Who else? Okay, copper. All these are examples for what? Talk about what? We are talking about metals here. We are talking about what? About metals. So when we talk about metals, we are talking about conduct good conductors. When we talk about non-metals, we are talking about what? Insulators, yes, yes. Wood, exactly, wood, thank you. Ah, so, okay, Farah and Leith and uh, and uh, said about uh, plastic, wood, okay. All these are what? Insulators, like cotton, like wool, like the thing that we wear, plastic, okay, wood, okay, wood. Uh, wool, uh, cotton, okay, glass, exactly. So we can use it as insulator. Thank you. In convection currents, we have also what two types of currents. Okay, we have a current that goes up, 
okay? And the current that goes where down. So we have hot current and we have what? Cold current. Now, what's the difference between hot and cold? The hot convection current always, okay, because it, it gains heat with it and rises. So it's what rises. But because it expands and becomes more dense, he heavier, okay? But the cold, okay, because it, it condenses, okay? And as, sorry, so hot, it expands as it, the uh, liquid or gas it's uh, heated up, it expands, becomes less dense and rises. While the cold, okay, uh, uh, a material that, for example, cold liquid or cold gas, they condense and becomes more dense and sink where down. That's why, as we are going to say, so here, sink down. Sink down, okay? And here, what rises up, okay? We are going to talk about that in details. Now, the third way to transfer heat by what? By radiation, we have a fact here called good conductors are good what? Absorbers. Good, good conductors, oh, good, sorry, not conductors, good uh, emitters are good uh, absorbers, good absorbers are good, what, emitters. Usually, most of you knows that if you wear a, bla a black shirt, if you wear a black shirt, okay, below the sun, we feel heat from the sun because it absorbs heat. So it's a good what, good conductor. So if I wear uh, this uh, uh, light blue jacket and uh, sort of shirt, and someone wear uh, what a black shirt, okay, tamam, both of us we are below the sun. The one that wear black it will absorb heat faster and he will feel more hot. So it's good what absorber, okay. That's we can understand it because it's black color, it's dark color. Are they the same good emitter? Some people, they get confused. So why they get confused? Okay, because they don't realize that's, that's what happened here. So, so what actually happened if me and him, I wear a, a, a white, jack, uh, white shirt and he's wearing a, a black shirt. Okay, we are below the sun for a couple of minutes or a couple of uh, less than an hour. We are feeling very hot. We, if we enter a dark room, okay, away from the sun, he will feel, okay, colder faster because he wears a black so he emits more radiation faster than whom faster than me so we are going to talk about that in detail so good absorbers are good what emitters that's the rule here tamam okay write this down okay are you done take screenshot if you want these are the way three ways to transfer heat good okay now we are going to talk about each one of them in details now Conduction, okay, it's it's not a definition for conduction, but it's something that we can write it to, to make a short explanation about what's happened in conduction. A way to transfer, transfer heat, a way to transfer heat uh, uh, between, between objects, objects when there is what when there is direct contact contact between them okay now first question describe in molecular term how heat is transferred Okay, now imagine that we are in a class, okay? And uh, people, they are sitting in their desks, okay? And uh, something happens, okay? So one of the people, this uh, he or she saw what's happening. So he started to move right and left to speak to the neighbor, okay? And tell them what's happening. And the neighbor speak to the next one, okay? To, to tell them about what happened uh, as rumor, for example. And one by one, all the class will know what's happening here. So the same thing for molecules. Molecules gain heat and they start to vibrate more and they collide with the neighbor molecules to transfer energy to it, to the neighbor molecules. And this neighbor, they absorb heat, they vibrate more, 
okay, and what transfer the energy to the next one, etc. So what's happening here? Energy is gained. Energy is gained as kinetic energy. Okay, uh, Farah wrote to us. Okay, he uh, he transferred from high con uh, con concentration to low concentration. Yes. So uh, the object which is hot, it release heat. When the object is which is cold, it's what absorb heat. For example, if you put one hand on the door, the wooden door, and one hand on the handle of the door, the metal hand of the door, and we feel which one is colder. Try to do that. If I put one hand on the wood and one hand on the metal, okay, for the door, okay, you will feel that the metal hand, the metal uh, of the handle of the door, it's colder. Why? Because it's a good conductor. Both actually, both have the same temperature, but because it's a good conductor, it absorbs energy from your hand faster. That so that's why you feel it, it's cold. It's cold. But after a while, you feel that it becomes warm because you heat it up, okay, by your hand or by your body. Thank you for so. Energy is gained as kinetic energy by the molecules to vibrate more, to vibrate more and collide with the neighbor molecules طبعا نيبر اكتبوا لي صح باليو مش بالامريكان without you نيبر مولكس تو ترانسفير هيت هيت اوكي فروم هوت تو كولد اوكي سو مولكول تو ذا نيكست وان مولكول Molecule, sorry, two. The next one, heat is a transfer. Tamam. So that's about what, about conduction and that's what happened, okay, when we transfer heat through what conduction. Now my question, number two here. Why some materials are good conductors of heat and others they are poor conductors for heat? Like for example, when we talk about metals, they are good conductors for heat. Why they are? Okay, good conductors like metals, good conductors like metals their molecules are what? Their molecules are close to each other or away from each other? No problem, huh? They are close to each other or away from each other? They are close to each other. Have close what? Close molecules. And these close molecules, I'm um, sorry for my handwriting. Okay, go on. Close molecules and many free electrons, many free electrons to transfer heat faster. Transfer heat faster, more than ins the insulators, more than the insulators, the insulators, like whom, like nonmetals. Okay. So how close the molecules are, how the, you and your neighbor close to each other, you transfer the rumor or you transfer the energy faster and faster. And whenever you have more free electrons, more things to share, you can transfer the energy or the information between you and your neighbor molecule. So one by one, heat is transferred. Good, any question here? Thank you for that. Okay, now, is the water a good conductor for heat? Yes. Who can tell me, is the water a good conductor for heat? If you said yes, raise your hand. If you say that water is a good conductor for heat, raise your hand. None of you raised their hand. That means, okay, Freddy, Freddy raised his hand. Okay, who else? Okay, Tama. Now, actually, Freddy, water is not a good conductor for heat. Why? Let me show you this experiment, okay? If I bring a test tube, okay, 
And this test, okay, tube, we put it like this, uh, not uh, vertically with a, an angle, okay? And we put some water in it like this, okay? And we, uh, if we put some water here, okay, and we put a piece of ice inside it, and this piece of ice, okay, we cover it with a, 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 or we put a sinker inside it, or we cover it with a net of what, of very uh, heavy thing that keep it in what, in the bottom, okay? So this is a sinker, okay, covered what, the ice. So here, okay, there is ice, okay, and here there is what, water. Here there is what, water. Okay. And I use, for example, a Bunsen burner or any candle to make a flame on the edge here. Okay, this is a flame for what? A candle like this. Tamam. And I turn it off on one, uh, turn it on to make this side becomes warmer. Do you know that this side start to boil and there's bubbles here that means it reached 100 degrees Celsius, but this he, water in the bottom remains zero degrees Celsius and it will take long time to be uh, melted. Why would it take long time to be melted? Why ice take long time to be melted? Because water is a good or a poor conductor for heat? Water is a poor conductor for heat. So because water is a poor conductor for heat, it takes long time, okay, to heat up, okay? So, so by doing this experiment, okay, I can make sure that what water is a poor conductor for heat because the ice, it will take long time to melt up because it gain heat from the surrounding, not transfer heat by the water. So water is a poor conductor, poor, sorry, poor conductor. Yes, uh, poor conductor because molecules aren't so close. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you for that. yes. Water is a poor conductor and the ice, and the ice, okay, takes long time, long time to be heated. To be heated from what? From the surrounding, from the surrounding to melt. Surrounding to melt. Okay, good. Okay, another question. Is air a good conductor for heat? Ah, what do you think? Is it, air a good conductor for heat? If you said that air is a poor conductor for heat, raise your hand. Is the air a poor conductor for heat? Raise your hand. Ah, let me show hands. Let me see hands. Yeah, show your hands. Bismillah. Hmm. Shabab. قبل شوي حكينا water is a poor conductor. طيب my question is air a good or a poor? I said if you said poor conductor, raise your hand. What do you think? Is air poor or good conductor? Send me on, on the chat. Okay. طيب actually yes, the air it's a poor conductor. Why? Because in double glass windows, okay, double glass windows, they put vacuum or air in between the glasses layers. Okay, so this glass prevent heat to be transferred from outside the room to inside the room. So that's one of the experiments that to make sure, okay, as Farah said that the molecules are far from each other, okay, they are not transfer heat between them quickly. So air also, air is a poor, what, conductor. And it takes long time to transfer heat. Now, for example, if I bring what uh, a window, okay, with a two layers of what of glass, double glass window. This is a layer. And this is a line, but another layer, okay. And for example, okay, there is air molecules inside. Okay. Okay, and for example, outside it's warm, okay, or inside it's warm, doesn't matter. One side is warm and the other side is what is cold. Okay, now if one side is warm and the other side is cold, 
Okay, so that means the air molecules on this side, okay, which is hot. Okay, the air molecules here, they gain heat and they what rises up. They rises up. And the other side here, okay, the air molecules lose heat, okay, and condense and falls down. So this is a convection current goes up and this is convection cold convection cold current goes down. So there is no direct transfer heat through the two double glass window. Okay. Good. So here we have double glass window. And there is air inside here. Okay. Good. This is a, a quick experiment to realize uh, the differences between liquids and uh, uh, water, uh, air, and metals, whether they are co good conductors or not. Tamam? Okay. Another thing we called what convection. What do we mean by convection? Okay. Also, also half, uh, half tech. That means it's not the, a definition, but it's an explanation. We can use it to write uh, uh, a description or explanation for what's happening during convection. A way to transfer heat through fluids by carrying the energy with them, by carrying the heat with them, the heat with with it, okay, by conviction current. By convictional current. Question number five. What they ask here? Describe in molecular term how heat is what is a transfer through conviction. Let's assume that we have a large container of water, okay? And there is what water inside it. Okay, and we bring a Bunsen burner, okay, or any heating source, and we put it, uh, we put its flame, what, below the, what, heating source like this. Okay. Tamam. Okay, and we can see that, okay, if we put it on this side, for example, okay, if I move all this heating source to this side, okay, here, if I put it on this side here, like this, okay, it will be better then put it in the middle, I will see this, what will happen. And, and I put some uh, tea leaves inside the water. You will see, you will see, Ashabab, that the, uh, the tea leaves here, okay, in this side, they, they gain heat and they expand, they move away from each other and they flow upwards, carrying the heat with them to transfer the heat to the other molecules. And the, the molecules which they don't gain heat, which they are colder, okay, they condense, and they fall what? They fall down like this, and they make what? A cycle of hot conviction current and cold conviction current. So here we have cold conviction current, and we have here hot conviction current. I'll write them down in details now. Hot conviction what? Current. So what's actually happened? When a container or a liquid or a water, when a fluid is heated, from one side, its molecules hot particles go up and cold cold particles go down. So whole liquid gets heated. Thank you. Yes, after several cycles of the molecules. Yes, okay. After a while, but if we keep heating it from the top, that, that means the top of the water keep warm, but the bottom keep, keeps cold. That's why the oceans and seas, on, always on the surface, they are hot, but in the bottom, it's cold, okay? So when a fluid is heated from one side, its molecules gain heat as kinetic energy to move faster and further and further decreasing the density of the fluid, the density, not of the molecules of the fluid, the density of the fluid 
to rise carrying the heat with it with it as hot convection or current and replaced شو بصير مكانه فاضي لا بيجي cold current or cold mode because or cold fluid going down and replaced by cold convectional current fluid ايش sinks down sinks down تمام واضح سهل اكيد طيب الحمد لله so again يا صبايا والشباب when we heat any uh, source of uh, water or air or whatever and from one side the hot convection current okay is caused because the molecules gain heat and they move away from each other so the same fluid not the molecules the same fluid they becomes lower density okay lower density, they have lower density and rises up okay replaced by cold denser fluid that goes down and this cycle keep what rotating several times that's why in our day life we can see that for example give an example from your daily life that's show you convection current okay and explain how this convection current is happening so i'll give you now four different pictures okay for what's happening during the day and during what the night okay or during the summer during the winter okay for for uh, anyone that lives on the beach okay or a coastal city he would see that if this is a coastal city like this and this is what water here Okay, this is the ocean or the sea. During the daytime, during the daytime when there is sun here, during the daytime when there is sun, okay. بالعادة أنا بلبس نظارة نظارة إيش الشمس نظارة شمسية عشان إيش عيونها ما توجعهاش. Okay, هاي نظارة شمسية تمام لمين لا الشمس. Okay, هاي النظارة الشمسية حلو كتير. Okay, شو اللي بيصير؟ Now, where it will be hotter? Meaning, be con sechen, actor, the land or the sea be con aschen, and why? Who can tell me why? Which side it will be hotter and why? The land, the sand, it becomes hotter. So yes, here it becomes hotter. So because it becomes hotter here, so the air molecules here on the top above it, okay, it's easier to heat it because it has something we are going to study it later on called. Thermal physics, uh, thermal uh, capacity. It has low thermal capacity. So the air molecules here gain heat and rises what up as what uh, hot convectional current, replaced by what cold air that come from where come from the sea from the okay which is what cold okay. So the air molecules here they flow to be replaced here okay. By something called cold convection current. So this process, when you have a flame or you during the daytime you feel that the wind come from the sea, that's called land or sea breeze. Yes, what we call it when it, when the wind come from the sea, we call it what sea breeze. So the sea breeze always happened during the day, shiny okay, day, sea breeze. Always happened what during the sh uh, shiny day. Okay. That the air, the cold air, come from where? From the ocean or from the sea above the ocean or above the sea? Because the the land side, the air becomes hot as it heated up and it goes up. But during the night, okay, after this day, during the night, okay, this is the moon. Okay, this is our moon. Okay, what will happen uh, during the night? Okay. For example, this is the sea, and this is the land, okay? Like this, okay? In this land, okay, it becomes quickly cold, uh, okay, during the night. It becomes what? Quickly what? Cold. But the, the, uh, the sea, because all the day it's, uh, it's, we heat it up, it becomes what? Warm. So the molecules here above the water, okay, they gain heat and they rise up like this by hot convectional current 
replaced by what? A cold current that come from where? Come from the land, like this. So the molecules, they are coming like this, cold convection current. This is called what? Land breeze. Land breeze. So this is, a, anyone lives in a coastal city, he can feel that during the day and during the night, okay, it becomes what uh, there is always when to come from the ocean or from the sea or go to the ocean, okay, from the land during the daytime, during the, land uh, the nighttime, that's called sea breeze and land breeze. Now, these are two examples, okay, for the convection current, that's it's very easy. Other, another two examples I can tell you about them, it's what's happening in your room, okay? For example, this is your our room, okay? This is one of the walls of the room, okay? This is one of the walls of the room. And we have a window on one side of the room here. Okay, let's put a window here. Okay, now if I have a window here, a window here, okay, the same wall. But here I'm talking about, okay, here um, let's, let's talk about uh, summertime during the summer. And here let's talk about what winter time. Now, during the summertime, okay, the main a source of heat comes in through the room, it's from where? From the window, not from the walls. Okay, there's heat come from the walls, but not it's it's nothing compared to the heat that come from where? From the window. So what we usually we do, we usually put an air condition and this air condition, it will be in the top, okay, above what? In the top of the, uh, of the, uh, of the wall in front of the window. So it's blow cold air, and this cold air, as we study now, it's what well, it's denser, so it falls down. And any warm air in this room, okay, this is called convection current. Any warm room in this, a uh, warm air in this room, what will happen to it? It rises like this, okay, because it's warm or hot convectional what current. It goes like this. So after a couple of what, couple of minutes, the whole room, okay, depends on the type of condition and size of room. What happens to the room becomes all of it cold. That's during what? The summer. That's the conviction current that happens usually during the summer. During the winter, we don't turn on the air condition. We turn on the radiator. We have a, a radiator that usually put it below the, uh, below the tiles, in the, uh, below the ground, or below the, what? the windows. These radiators, they have pipe of waters that it's very hot. So what's happening here? It makes a very hot conviction current come out from it. So any cold air or any cold or low temperature come from the window, it's directly heated by hot convection current that come out from the heater and replaced, okay, by cold convection current that comes from where? From the whole of the room, okay, if it's cold, it goes like this and heated up inside the fringes, okay, inside the fence, okay, of uh, the spaces of what? Of the uh, uh, heater or radiator, okay, and becomes hot and keep what cycling like this this convection current will keep rotating the air and after a couple of minutes, the room becomes what? Warm or hot. Good. These are four examples for convection currents. Let's move on. Uh, any question here? Is it clear? Okay, is this clear, the four examples? Okay. Let's move on to radiation. Also radiation, okay, we are going to describe it like this. Now, if you please, each one of you, put your hand close, not touch, close to your face. Put your hand close to your face. What do you feel? Ah, oh. what do you feel about your hand and your, the heat that come out from your, from your face? Ah, oh. heat come out from my face or your face to the hand. Had is more infrared radiation. That's how animals they see us. They see their heat that come out from our body. But if one of the boys or the boy, of course, put his hand like this and didn't feel the heat, what do I say to him? He feels warm. Thank you, Hana. I say to him because his face is hot. This is a mess. Okay. Don't do this to one of the boys. Okay. So the idea is that you feel warm. Thank you, Hana. Thank you also. Uh, Sandra, okay, that you feed the worm that come out from the what, what the body. That means there is infrared radiation come out from the surface. And whenever the surface is darker or the rougher, that means the heat will come out from it faster. That's why they paint the radiators usually with white because they do, I don't want them to become cold very fast when I turn off the radiator during the winter. 
exactly. So what is the radiation? The radiation? That way, a way, a way to transfer heat, a way to transfer heat by infrared radiation between surfaces. Between what surfaces? If you don't want to write infrared, you can write uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Any, any electromagnetic wave, any electromagnetic wave, okay? It can what transfer heat, okay? Like uh, the visible light, okay? Now, I want to do two experiments here, okay? One experiment, okay, to compare between different surfaces, which one? is the most ability has a high ability to absorb heat and which one has the highest ability to what to emit heat now which one do you think it, it will be the shukran yahana yes exactly okay which surface it will what it will absorb uh, more heat the white or the black ah which one has the ability to absorb more heat the white or the black yes tell me the white or the black yes shukran the black yes thank you Type. Which one has the ability to lose heat quickly and becomes colder, the black or the white also? Also the black. That's why, no, also the black. That's why black cars, okay, black cars, they have problems, especially in the Bilad uh, al-Sham, uh, Urdan, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria. good observers of heat. بالشتاء بيكونوا كثير باردات لانه they are good emitters for heat. كيف بدنا نتاكد من هالحكي هذا؟ we can do an experiment، شو بنعمل؟ يلا خلينا نحكي experiment experiment، اول وحده how we can do a fair experiment between how which one absorb more heat، شو بنعمل؟ بنجيب similar plates identical plates وهذول identical plates same size، اوكي؟ okay. بنحطهم ايش؟ قبل ما نحطهم below the sun، اوكي؟ okay. for the same time facing the sun. شو بنعمل؟ We paint each one with different what color. For example, let's paint this one with a dull black. Let's paint the other one with uh, shiny black. Let's paint the third one with uh, silver, shiny silver. And the last one was dull, with dull what white. So I'm fish on a beautiful Okay. So the idea, okay, it's what's happening here. If I put a thermometer in each one of them, if I put a thermometer on each one of them, and I compare their rise in temperature or the temperature change during the same time of heating, or I can put the same amount of what of wax, the same amount of wax on, on each one of them, and see which one of them the wax on it will melt first. Okay, if I put wax here, wax here, wax here, chama yani. Okay, and compare which one of these, the wax on it will melt first, okay? This one, it will be the best what absorber of heat, which is the dull black surface. So let's write them down here. We have, for example, dull black, shiny black, white, Okay, and finally what, uh, dull white, and finally what, shiny silver. Shiny what, silver. And we put on each one of them the same amount of wax, or uh, I all this is wax, 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 wax. Okay, same amount of wax, okay or we put on each one a thermometer and measure the change in temperature. Let's write, this is this drawing, okay? Let's write down the, uh, the description of this experiment, what's happening here, okay? So, bring identical plates with different paints, 
or color as shown below and put on each the same amount of facts the same amount of facts then put them below the sun facing it below the sun facing it for the same time and compare our balash compare sees okay sees or, or observe okay observe sees which one the wax will melt first on it which one the wax first melt on it the wax first melt on it or or I can bring thermometers and compare the change in temperature or use thermometers. Oh, okay, on each to compare the change in temperature, the co to compare the different in temperature or the change in temperature. Okay, good. So by doing this experiment, we can find out that the dull black is the best absorber and the shiny silver is the poorest absorber. So the one that is dull and black, not shiny like the car surface, they are shiny, dull black, they absorb more heat, okay? That's why in, in some ovens, they are dull black from inside to keep it hot and becomes hot very fast, quickly, not lose energy to the surrounding heat, okay? Now, how we can do a fair comparison between surf different surfaces to see which one emits more heat. Now, as you try to detect which one, when you put your hand close to your face, you detect the heat on your hand, okay? We have a device called infrared detector. This device, which is called infrared detector, we, you can see it in your camera, in your phones, okay? Lesh, no, give your remote control, okay? Bring your remote control and turn it on. Be, push any button, okay? You'll see that the, the lab on it does not show any light. But if you bring your mobile and you put your lens or your camera on it and you turn on and off, okay, on this, you will see that, you'll see that on the screen that, okay, if you turn on the camera, you'll see that the, the lamp on the remote control start to glow, okay? A different color, maybe violet for Samsung or Apple phones because they have infrared detector that shows the radiation of infrared, which is invisible, as what visible light, as visible light, okay? So we can use something called infrared detector that detects how much radiation come out from surfaces, from bodies. That's how they know, they know how much is the temperature for something without going to bring the thermometer and put it inside, okay? So what we can do, how we can be fair, what we need to do, we will what bring a metal cube, a metal cube like this, and this metal cube, have equal dimensions from each side. Okay, it's a cube. And we can put hot water, boiling water inside. Okay, we can, there's an open here to, in, to put inside boiling water, put boiling water, boiling water. Okay, and we can compare how much heat come out from each surface. Now, each surface should be painted with different what with different color. So let's say that this side is dull black, dull black, and this side is shiny silver, shiny silver, okay? And the other side here from behind, it's white, for example, and the side here from behind is 
شايني بلاك Now what we will do in front of each of these, okay, in front of each of these surface, I put a device that's called the infrared detector. And this infrared detector, I put it here, I put it here, okay, in front of each surface, about the 3D dimension, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to draw a 3D dimension, I, I prefer to write it down, okay. It's supposed to be having faced with the same what distance in front of each surface, and these is con these infrared detector are connected to what? Are connected to something called a, a counter to, to count how much radiation come out from each what surface. So what I would do, bring a metal cube that each side is painted. with different color. As shown. Then put boiling water inside. And use infra red detectors detectors in front of each what side in front of each side okay for the same time and distance facing it facing each side at the same distance to be fair at the same distance, okay? Then what, at the same distance, then measure the infrared, infrared radiation that come out from each surface. Radiation that come, comes out, come out from each surface or each color, okay? And we will see that the, the dollar black is the best one that emits a lot of what, of radiation. As the darkest color absorb most heat, so the dull black, it will be hottest and it will what, lose heat quickly. Uh, for example, حكينا قبل شوي, إذا واحد لابس قميص أبيض والتاني لابس قميص أسود وحطينا الحالة تحت الشمس if we get in the room, okay, the one that wears a black shirt, it becomes colder faster because he's wearing black, so it emits more heat from uh, his body. Good absorbers are good emitters. Easy come, easy go. Zayma biyakhud energy bsura, lose energy bardo ish bsura. Tamam? Good? Wadha al fikra? Okay. Good, Heka. Mashal Haq, Katabtu, Khatu screenshot, Rasamtu. Okay, good. Ya Allah. Andi Anahala, Shadow, multiple choice questions. I want from you to try to do them next period on Wednesday. Ashan, Ashan, Halil Asra. And Shukki for Umur Tabatna. Fahadu, multiple choice questions are homework for Wednesday. Barfan went to Belish to Madaras, went to Shwe Majulin, but you have to try to do your homework, okay? Question 13, it's paper six. Hakana from while to while, and Hanbelish and Hel, as it paper six, they meant to check in paper six, they meant follow the instructions. Paper six, she is clear, Sahel. You have to practice on several papers, okay? Paper six, I shan't throw her into hand, Kun, Jazz. Shubakino. The IGCSE class is investigating the conditions of active affecting the rate of cooling on what of beaker of hot water. The students start to measure the room temperature. Diamond doesn't show the room temperature if it's hot or cold. Record the value of the temperature from the thermometer here. Yell, me, Kili, how much is the reading? How much is the reading? Yell, send me the answer. How much is the reading? It's how much is the room temperature? It's 20, what? 28, yes, shukran, 28 degree Celsius. Okay, this is the value. 28 degrees, this is that. The room temperature, it's hot, yes. Type. 
Then what they do here in part B, as soon as are provided with the hot water in, in beakers, we have two beakers with hot water as shown. Beaker A is insulated, we have insulation here, okay? While beaker B has a lid a cover on its top, okay? So the student measure and record the temperature theta, okay? For each of the beakers, every what? 30 seconds and did that for five minutes, okay? As shown. So 0, 30, 60, until what, 300 uh, seconds, which is five minutes, okay? For both experiments, for beaker A and beaker B. Look here, the initial temperature, how much was it? It's 83. How much here, the initial temperature? It's 82. This is not fair. You have to make experiment, same initial temperature, no problem. So how much the temperature drop here? It's drop to 70, how much? 13 degrees Celsius. How much the temperature drop here? It's dropped only by how much? 10 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius. So which one becomes colder faster? Beaker A or beaker B? It's obvious that beaker A, or you can say that it's not it's negligible because only three degrees out of what? Out of 13, it's nothing. But the, yes, this is beaker A lose heat more, the insulated one, because it's it's not covered like what? Like this. That's why دائما الأكل السخن بيغطوه. مش بيلفوا حواليه. بيلفوا حواليه بعد يغطوه بعدين بيلفوا حواليه، بس اذا احنا لفينا حواليه وهو مكشوف من فوق شو بصير فيه؟ ببرد، فتغطيه اهم انك ايش؟ تو كفر ات وذ انسليتر سراوندنج ات، اوكي؟ سو وات ذي سيد هير؟ لوك ات ذا اتمب اوف ريدنجز ان ذا تيبل، اوكي؟ ستيت وذر ذا انسليشن اراوند ذا بيكر ان اي اور ذا ليد اون بيكر بي، اوكي؟ اور نيذر، اوكي؟ ذا موست افكتيف تو كيف ذا ووتر هوت، ريفير ذا ريدنجز ان ذا تيبل، شو بتحكي له؟ Big ash, beaker, what? Ash B, the hulled malo hada is more ash effective. صح? Is more what effective? ليش? The decrease of its temperature. ما بتحكي له why بتحكي له justification from the readings هلا في ناس فكروا justification and explanation no I'm taking from the readings the drop of its temperature is at the 10 degrees Celsius less than for A اللي هو at the 13 degrees less than for A اللي هو how much اللي هو 13 degree what Celsius so because the the decrease of its temperature is lower that means it's more effective what to keep the okay the hot water remains hot okay tamam hello type so just a suitable material for uh, for the insulation yeah la tawni suitable material for insulation iza hakayt li glass صعب ليه لانه هذا بيكر كيف بدي اغطي البيكر بجلاس صعب صح فيا ما بتحكي لي كوتون يا اما وول يا اما ايش بلاستيك يا اما نايلون يا اما كلوث اكزاكتلي شكرا لكم اوكي اي ويل رايت كوتون يو كان رايت Hana, you can write uh, cloth. Okay, shukran ya Sandra. Tamam, shukran ya Hana. Okay, to obtain reliable results in this experiment, okay, it is important that uh, variables are controlled. State three variables that uh, should be controlled in this experiment. Awal ishi, hakeynaha, inul initial temperature malha, mish the same, sah? Tani ishi, بدنا نحكي انه انا ما بعرف قد ايه الفوليوم اوف ووتر هير والفوليوم اوف ووتر هير. اي دونت نو. سو وي هاف تو ميك ذا سيم فوليوم اوف ووتر تو ميك سيم كونديشن. نمبر 3 كمان اللي ايش اللي هو التايم مستحيل انا از ون ستودنت ضلي اعمل التايم انترفال اقيس من هون ومن هون يكون ايش اكيرت نو واي الا اذا كان سيفرال ستودنتس اند ذي تراي تو هاف ذا ميجرمنتس اند ذا تايم ان ذا سيم وات Time. Okay, so we have several things to what we can control it. خلينا نكتب إيش the most effective one يعني. طبعا بماركس كي بيكون كتبين خمسة ستة هم طالبين ثلاثة. هون إيش same initial temperature. Same initial temperature for both beakers. Both beakers. اللي بعدها شو نحكي لهم؟ نحكي له same amount اللي هي mass same uh, mass of what of water for both beakers 
تقدر تحكي له same type of thermometers and position same type and position of thermometer okay تقدر تحكي له كمان same room temperature room temperature doesn't change during doing the experiment okay same drafting, uh, put, put it away from sunlight, yeah, both of them. Both of them on, uh, on the bench, not one on the sinker, one on the wooden bench. Yani. كل هدول إيش بس إحنا خلينا نكتب الأشياء اللي إحنا إيش شايفينها. Same time interval. Same time interval. For doing and measuring the experiment. Doing and it and measuring temperature. And measuring temperature okay okay شباب تمام okay next question 14 هذا question من core paper paper 2 سؤال شوي قديم you know similar to the experiment that I just told you to prove that the water is not good conductor for heat what they said the figure below shows two experiments to investigate the energy transfer in what in water, here gentle heating, here gentle heating, here in the bottom, here in the top. Here we have uh, uh, an ice, okay, trapped with a, a wire hose, okay, a, a wire gas, okay. Here we have what uh, an ice on the top of it. Experiment what cold water is gently heated at the bottom, ice and the top will melt before the water boils. Here, cold water is gently heated at the top, the ice trapped at the bottom remains solid, remains ice solid, okay. Even in the water in the top start to boil here, the water start bubbles, start boil, but here it's the, it, it start to melt and the temperature is still, what, maybe five, maybe two degrees Celsius in the water because the ice is starting. After that, the temperature rises. Okay, so name the process, okay, which the thermal heat traveling through the glass. Ah, how the heat transfer through the glass? The glass is solid or fluid? The, the glass is what, solid. So how the heat is transferred through solid? By what? By conduction. Yes, exactly. Shukran. By conduction. Shafin alam is here. Bija asal is a hek paper paper four. Okay, mish paper three core. Okay. Name the principle or process in the experiment one which take place for the water at the bottom to rise at the top and melt the ice. What that's called? Con. The water. Ash goes up. Water is a fluid. So how the heat is transferred through fluid by convection. Exactly. Shukran. Convection. Shukran ya Farah. Shukran ya Hana. Tamam. Shukran ya Sandra. Okay. Describe how the process in BI occurs. What's happening? As we said here, water is heated at the bottom. to expand and becomes less dense, rises, carrying the heat with it. to the top. Okay, good. Hello, Kalam. Right. Next, suggest so two reasons why ice, okay, in this experiment does not melt, even when the water at the top start to boil. Why? Hmm? Water is a poor ash conductor. So that's reason number one. Reason number two. Okay, hot water rises. Our hot water stays on the top. Hot water stays on the top. Does not goes down. Stays at the top. Tamam. These are two reasons. Okay, so I suggest them, suggest them to explain why the water 
does not go down and melt the ice. That's why the ice takes long time to be melted. Good? Okay. Now let's move on to question 15. In question 15, what do they say here? Okay. What is it? Okay. Four identical metal plates at the same temperature. Ah, same temperature. They are to be fair. Are light side by side on the ground. Okay. The rays from the sun falls on the plates. One is dash matte black, dull black. One is shiny black, matte silver, shiny silver. State. That means you already know the answer. State which plate is the fastest rise in temperature by the sunlight. Exactly. Shukran, shukran. Yes, ya Farah, yes, ya Hana, shukran. Yes, ya Sandra, shukran. The matte black, what surface? The matte black surface is the first one that it increased the temperature and uh, because it's a good absorber. Yes, we didn't ask why. Now, here, here we have an experiment, okay? Leslie differential air thermometer, okay? This is a name of the scientist. He did this experiment. What he did? The apparatus shows the figures that knows as needed differential air thermometer. We have a, a, a pipe of uh, glass. We have two bubbles here. One bubble is, sh is shiny painted or uh, transparent, and one is painted what? Black. And there's <coughs> air trapped uh, inside with a tap here. Okay. And we have the same water level. Before the a heater is turned on. The tap was opened, so both level are uh, same level. Okay, both both level of water is the same level. We close the tap here. Okay, the heater switch off. Tap uh, T is open, so that uh, the air is both sides they are having same what pressure. later on. Tap T is then closed. Okay, so what they ask? The heater is switched on. On the same previous, uh, uh, on the same figure here, mark clearly where the two level of liquid might be after a short time. Should be liquid here. This liquid level, sure I could be for you. But flow will be in the same. How will be in the same? Why? Will it remains the same? The one below the matte black goes down, for example here, and the, because of the different pressure, the ones here goes what? goes up. If we go that, down this one, one centimeter, that means this will go up one centimeter, same distance, okay? That's one mark. But why did this happen? Explain your answer. Why this happened? As the uh, heater, okay, is turned on, the, the, the one which is painted black, it absorbs heat more than the one which is shiny. So the air inside gets more heat. As it gets more heat, it will expand and move faster to make for greater what pressure pushes what the liquid level to goes where down more than what the shiny bulb, okay? So again, how we can ex explain this? The dull bulb or the, uh, the black bulb gain heat by radiation. Okay, absorb, blush again, absorb heat by radiation. Absorb. The uh, black bulb absorbs heat by radiation more than, so what we're going to write here, okay. So here, more than the black bulb, the black bulb, absorbs more heat radiation than the shiny. So the air molecules inside it Gain heat as kinetic energy to move faster 
and collide. More often, to push to push the liquid level to push the liquid level down on the left side. تمام؟ جود يا شباب؟ واضح؟ اوكي اشوف والله كم واحد طلع من الحصة ما فيش غير حدا واحد طلع من الحصة ما اعرفش ليش اثنين طيب مش مشكلة اوكي نكمل اوكي what they said another experiment about transferring heat question 16 what they said here The figure below shows two identical metal plates, okay? The front surface of one plate is painted black and the other one is painted what? Shiny silver, okay? Not black and shiny what? Silver. The plates are fitted with heater keeps its surface plate with the same what temperature. So for example, the heater is 300, the, the heater is 300, okay? During heating, okay? Same temperature. I, state the additional apparatus needed, needed to test which surface is the best emitter of heat radiation? Yes, who can tell me which one is the best emitter of heat radiation? What's the instrument that I needed? What's the apparatus that I will use it to detect the heat radiation? What we call it? Infrared detector, yes. We call it infrared detector. Or you can say thermometer, okay? Or thermocouple, okay? So, state one precaution that is needed to ensure a fair comparison same distance facing the surface. Same distance facing the plate. Okay, if we have same distance facing the plate, okay, each plate at the same position, that means I'm fairing here. I'm trying to be fair for same time, for example. Okay, same time is not necessary because they give us the rate every second. Okay, stay the result that you expect. What do you think? Which one will emit more heat? The dull black. Yes, thank you. The dull black emits what? More heat or radiates more heat, okay? The dull black emits more radiation. Write down another name of heat radiation. What's the other name for heat radiation? Infrared. طب أستاذ الميكروويف أوفن بيشتغل نفس الطريقة؟ يس بس مش بيكون إنفراد بيكون مايكروويف عشان هيك الووتر موليكولز بتسخنه. هل فيه إنفراد؟ في أنواع يس فيه إنفراد حسب الفريكونسي وحسب شو تايب الأوفن اللي بدك إياه، أوكي؟ تمام؟ طيب. جود؟ هيك أخذنا أربع علامات، علامة اثنتين ثلاثة أربعة. نكست. In the space below, draw a label diagram for everyday situation that convection current occurs. I don't have to on the sea breeze and land breeze. I have to talk on the air condition. Bil gurfa. Aha. Tamam. I will give you another example. I will give you the example of boiling system. What is the boiler system? This is the boiler system. If I have a boiler, okay, this is the boiler. I'm not going to draw it. I'm going to draw it for you. This is the boiler. تمام بيكون جواته ايش هيتنج سورس بيكون مثلا يا اما جايبين ديزل يا اما جايبين غازولين او وات ايفر اوكي في شيء بكهرب في شيء لحاله اوكي بيكون جواته ايش اوكي بيكون جواته ايش بويلر عندي انا هون بويلر فليم اوكي بسخن هون هيتنج سورس هلا هذا بيجي عليه ايش مي بيجي عليه ايش Cold water or normal water from what? From the main tank. Okay. Exactly. Hala ash water from main tank. How the water from main tank goes where? Goes down. Like this. As it's heated, as it's heated, it with expands and goes where? Up by convection current. Here, this one. Is connected to what? Is connected to a, a, a reservoir or a tank that has only hot water in it. 
okay so here we have a receiver okay container that contains what hot water in it now the hot water stays where stays inside so this is convection current that goes where up like this heated up and goes like this and this is hot water tank this is the boiler and the water that inside the hot, hot tank when it becomes cold it falls where it falls down and it turn back to what to the boiler to be heated up again and the most heated one it goes where at the top of this water tank and go directly to be what to be used for uh, uh, swimming pools for heating the house for making a showers okay whatever making shower so this hottest water hottest water to be used to be used and the cold water conventional current it goes like this down like this that's the direction of it so this is cold convectional current and this is here hot convectional current hot convectional current good that's another example about convection current that we can talk about it. Okay. Last question for this worksheet. We can have the most important topics about thermal physics. We will have a lot of things we have to do. We will have a lot of things we have to do. We will have a lot of things we have You can see that we can answer at least three, five questions from each past paper. Hala, three, five questions, if we add the marks on it, تقريباً مرات وصلنا لD أو لC مرات لB. It depends on how much you get answers, correct answers, okay? It depends on you. فأنا بتمنى إن شاء الله تكونوا علاماتكم كويس ودائماً تجيب إيش تحلوا أي الأسئلة صح. وإذا عندكم أي سؤال past paper بعتوا لي إذا مش فهمانينه. أو بدو شرح إن شاء الله. Okay. نرجع هلا هون. شو بحكينا هذا السؤال؟ The figure below shows a part of a copper rod. Copper is a solid. A B being heated at one end at a side A. Name the process which is heated transfer from A to B. كيف الهي transfer from A to B؟ Yes, شكرا شكرا. It's called conduction. تمام. شوفتوا كيف conduction. طبعا هذا السؤال core مش هذا السؤال كن extended مش core. Conduction. By refers to the behavior of the particles of the copper along AB. State how this process happens. Shub tahkilo. Molecules. Hakena adal haki. Molecules. Exactly. Gain heat. Exactly. And they vibrate, collide with more often to the neighbor molecules. So one, one by one, heat is transferred from hot side to cold side from A to B. Molecules, shukran, shukran ya farah. Molecules gain heat to vibrate more and collide with neighbor molecules neighbor molecules to transfer heat between them from hot side A to cold side B one to the next one one to the next one تمام هيك حلو الأمور واضحة كل شيء واضح تمام تمام أوكي الله يسر الأمور آخر سؤال لهاي الوركشيت شو بحكينا Give an account of an experiment that is designed to show how four surfaces will absorb 
most heat radiation. The four surfaces are all same metal, okay? But one is polished back, one is polished silver, one is dull black, one and the fourth one painted white. Give your answer in order, okay? The, he uh, the heading below, lay ish, labeled diagram, the apparatus reading and ish, the apparatus reading to be one taken and one, and one precaution that we have to be fair and compare between these four surfaces. Hakana, Abrishway, we put the four surfaces below the sun, we put thermometer on each one of them and measure for the same temperature, like if you fair, or we the same amount and we compare of wax and we compare which one of wax, the wax on it will melt first and the second. So that's how we can put the four of them facing the sun, below the sun for the same time, and we can compare the temperature before and after. Any question? Yes, hello, infrared, uh, infrared, we cannot use it to, uh, to detect which one absorb heat. We can detect which one will emit heat, not absorb heat, okay? Infrared, we can detect them, but we will not be fair because we'll see which one is hottest, okay? The, the dull black will be hottest and it will emit more radiation, but that's not a way to use it. Uh, they use the infrared detector. And in, in absorption, we can't use it in, in, in emission. The heat radiation, we can use it. Tamam. Any other questions? Allah yatikul That's it. Have a, a nice day. Inshallah, see you on Wednesday. Don't forget to do your homework. That's it for today. If you have any question, you can stay online. If you don't have a question, you can leave. Allah yatikul afiyah. Assalamu alaikum. You are welcome.